all around the world there is a fundamental change taking place in the way that children in troubled conditions receive care for centuries children displaced from their families by tragic circumstances have found shelter in institutional settings in just the past two decades a research driven consensus on the impacts of institutional care has emerged ushering in a new approach to their care triggered by the UN's 2009 adoption of the guidelines for the alternative care of children this philosophy holds that the family is the best place for a child around the world children care institutions are helping this transition transforming from places of care and dwelling to community resource centers the noble challenge of restoring a child to family life is predicated on two key principles necessity and suitability first one must discern the necessity of removing the child from his or her family if that is the case the next step is to discern the suitability of potential family based alternative care options caregivers then work to find the most suitable family setting following five essential steps the first is engagement in which the case worker gets to know the child and the unique needs of his or her situation the engagement process also involves learning the thoughts of the other concerned parties including the child's family the local community and appropriate government officials next is assessment in which the case worker follows time tested routines to discover the resources available to the child and the destination family these include schools ngos and government schemes the third step involves designing services and building capacity this is achieved by training both parents and local volunteers on best ways to help with service in places it's time to transition the child to the family this stage requires ongoing visits and counseling to overcome hurts and build new healthy routines the final and enduring stage involves monitoring and evaluation as case workers and other supporters evaluate and support the family when this process is observed and repeated with one family after another it will drive the process of family reintegration in your community your country and beyond in this first of four videos you will be hearing from our subject matter experts on this vital process so you may grow in your understanding and engage more fully in restoring children to family settings together we can help transform lives and open up pathways to a brighter future for countless children across our country and around the world successful transformation requires effort in four essential areas and includes work at multiple levels from political leaders and policy makers to funders to the professionals working on the ground political will work with political leaders government representatives policy makers to create the environment for comprehensive and sustainable reform know how to achieve meaningful change each region needs to understand how it is possible to move from a system that relies on ccis to one that focuses on community and family based solutions by developing community based support systems government can tackle the root cause of family separation capacity on the ground build a strong local workforce of both professionals and community volunteers funding seek investment in family based care systems transformation is achieved through successful completion of five steps as we will outline here and it is important to keep the areas of political will know how capacity on the ground and funding in mind as you move through each of the five steps the first step of transformation is engagement start by putting children first and ensuring that their voices are being heard at all levels from political leaders to social workers it is also critical to listen to the thoughts and concerns of families communities 
and governments how do children families local authorities government and the community feel about institutionalization why are children in institutions what happens to cause parents to send their children to institutions does the community have resources in place to help parents and children the next step is assessment it is important to gather information in multiple areas to understand gaps and determine how to meet those needs what support does the community need to provide in order to keep children from being separated from their families assess the needs of children and families in terms of health care nutrition education and safety and providing guidance training and support to families to address these needs identify support services available in the community and pinpoint the gaps work toward developing the needed services within the community provide professional development and support so the workforce can be effective at transitioning children and families the roles and responsibilities of the child care institution staff will need to evolve as their focus turns to preparing children for family care identify what staff will make this transition and what training the staff needs in their new roles the third step is design and development prevent past gatekeeping is critical transformation will not occur if children continue to enter institutions focus must be on prevention and keeping children from being separated from their families focus on the children looking at the needs and what is in their best interest and ensure that children with unique needs are receiving proper care and attention educate and guide parents kinship caregivers and foster adoptive parents so they can provide the needed support to the children develop new support services as needed such as accessible health care educational support and parent education continue to train the staff that have been identified as being a part of the transition process ongoing training is critical ensure sustainability in individual placements the placement process and the transformation of institutional care to family care capacity building for local authorities and key stakeholders regarding gatekeeping is very important since prevention of family breakdown is key successful family placement requires proper preparation of the child and family to address past trauma work through adjustment issues and rebuild family relationships after needs are assessed in step 2 the focus moves to addressing those needs as the child transitions to family care adolescents aging out of care must be prepared for independent living recruit families for alternative care during this time of transition the child care institution staff actually begin their new assignment continued training and support will be required remember to strengthen and support the professional workforce outside of the child care institution staff as well the final stage is monitoring and evaluation follow up visits with the family are necessary to ensure a safe and loving environment for the child identify and respond the challenges the family may be experiencing continue staff training and support the focus of training at this step would be on learning from data gathered and making modifications are needed continued contact with children families and the community will give you invaluable information as the gaps in services and outcomes of your efforts transforming the manner in which an entire country even the entire world cares for separated children is a sizable task but with a shared commitment to a sensible strategy we change the world forever